we meet again for the classes as I pass through some information to you. This is Diploma in Education, Secondary, School Subject History, Module 1. In short, DES, History 21. Uh, for today, we are going to look at uh, some of the ways how I expect you to answer the history questions. Okay, uh, different history questions require one to answer them in differently. We do not have a lot of keywords, but I would love us to concentrate on the issue of keywords like describe, outline, discuss, explain, how far do you agree. Those are some of the common terms that you'll find in the questions that you'll get along. So you really need to know what are you required to do. All right, uh, if we focus on the describe, uh, discuss and outline questions, uh, these are very brief, brief uh, questions. For example, they will ask you to describe the role of Jose Akutako in the nationalism of Namibia, or describe the Hitler's foreign policy, they are just expecting you, or oh, we expect you just to be brief. You mentioned for us five clear facts. You don't need to explain a lot. Keep in mind, you need to focus on what is asked so you don't go out of the scope because this is very straightforward. The moment you are out, then you will not get good marks. So focus on the keyword ask. Avoid listing your answers. Uh, always present your answers in a paragraph. Yes, so no, no, no much discussion because this question is very brief. Uh, another keyword that you will normally see is explain. Explain why the Second World War started, questions like that. Explain why uh, blacks in Namibia hated apartheid or whatsoever have you and all that. Uh, this is where you need to start writing in detail. You are required at least to name three facts and above and thoroughly explain them according to what is asked. Again, please stick to what is asked. If, if the, the question is focusing on Namibian, so do not mix with South African history. If the question is focusing on uh, Jose Akutako, you don't need to mention any other name. As you explain, avoid general and vague statements. Again, uh, no listing of answers or using bullets. In history, you are expected to write like you normally answer English, so you need to write paragraph, uh, a paragraph, which is very, very important. So there is a difference between describe the first one and the second one explain, because this one requires you to be a bit in detail. Another question or type of question that you will expect from this type of uh, studies is how far. These questions require you to support two sides of the story or you must have two arguments or point of view if the question only have one fact mentioned. For example, again, uh, they will ask you how far did apartheid cause bad effects to the Namibians. Uh -huh. Then you are attend to the bad effects and then you also attend to the good effects. 
another question that I can give you or another example is women in South Africa, did they play a big role in ending minority rule? Then they can ask you how far do you agree? And then you need to support your two arguments. What did the women do and what did the other uh, groups did or contribute? So there are a lot of questions. There is questions that requires you to choose two or three. If those questions come your way, you need to stick to those three effects mention or two. Uh -huh. For example, uh, let me go to international relation. Uh, a question like the peace treaty or the Treaty of Vessels and League of Nations, how, which one contributed the most to the Second World War? Okay, so you stick to the two which is mentioned. So I need to make it clear again. In case you find one fact in the question, you need to support that fact and bring other points. But if it's more than two facts in one question, like the example I just gave, you need to stick to the facts provided to you so you balance your area that side. Okay? If the, as I said, if the question contains more than two facts, uh -huh, stick to them. Separate your different explanation by skipping a line. Students, you really need to work on your handwriting most of the time. Don't rush. You need to separate facts, uh, opinions, Write your neat paragraph. When you are done with one fact or one side, skip a line and then go to the next one so that it's easier for the marker to go through and give you marks that you deserve. And again, make sure to stick to what is asked, nothing more. Take note, uh, questions, how far do you agree, requires you to answer more than one side. Don't stick to one side only. Uh, a, an example of the question uh, I'll give you again is, uh, how far do you agree that SWAPO contributed a lot to the independence of Namibia. Right. There is only one fact mentioned there, which is SWAPO. So how are you going to answer? The first part, you need to support what did SWAPO do to bring independence to Namibia. And then when you are done supporting SWAPO, then you tell us other factors that contributed to Namibia to get independence. Things like uh, United Nations or points like uh, United Nations, other countries like China, Cuba, and all those facts that you know. So you bring forth in the other uh, paragraph. So never stick to one side only because you'll get low marks. And again, you must understand the question first. Don't rush to answering. Read the question two times or three, then get the better understanding so that you don't write wrong things that is really out of line. All right. So basically, those are some of the keywords that you are expecting in this uh, subject. We move on. Uh, I also thought of uh, going with you through some facts. And some of this uh, information, you just need it to back up what you know already. Uh, I wanted to remind you with content, uh, different subjects uh, under this module. And uh, the most famous one, the Paris Peace Conference. Remember, it started in 1919. 
dominated by big three, but many countries attended. Germany was punished, and then they accepted the Treaty of Vessels. That is where all the problems started now. And remember, under the Treaty of Vessels, Germany lost land. They were told to pay, and they, their military power was reduced. For that reason, they hated the treaty. Most of the Germans hated the treaty because it caused for them a lot of problems, especially unemployment. So read further again, just for you to have more information, for you to answer if a question like that comes about Paris Peace Conference. Another fact that I want to remind you of is the League of Nations. Remember it was suggested by Woodrow Wilson of USA during the Paris Peace Conference. That was in 1919. However, the League was formed in 1920, had success and failures. Please take note of those success and failures. It will help you in case they will ask SSC question in the future. Uh -huh. If they ask you, for example, was the League of Nations successful in the 1930s? So discuss about the success. However, remind us again that it also had failures. Okay? And uh, why did it fail? Because it, it had one main weakness, which is the absence of the major superpowers like USA, Russia, and Germany. So find out more why did these three countries absent themselves from the League. For that reason, the League failed to control Germany and other aggressive countries during the reign of Hitler. Uh -huh. The two leading countries, Britain and France, could not handle it on their own because they were also having problems. Uh, because of that, the League of Nations failed. And then Second World War started around 1939 when Germany under Hitler attacked Poland. So please read again. This is just basic information for you to remind yourself. Another topic is Cold War. Which, was, which started in 1945. Remember Cold War was the war between USA and Russia or Soviet Union. It used to be known in the past. Uh -huh. Basically they had uh, different, you can say political or economic system. Uh, USA supported which is America, uh, supported capitalism, and Russia supported communism. Uh, and I just want to remind you again that uh, before 1945, these two countries, they were good friends because they were fighting on one side, which is the allied, the ones that defeated the central power. So now because of these countries not having the same understanding, so they started to grow apart until Cold War started. So Cold War, it was just a war of threats, suspicious and quarrel between USA and Russia. So they wanted to fight, but they could not fight because they are all very strong. That's why they are called superpowers. All right. Uh, there are a lot of examples to show how close they came to fight, but they did not. Please read through Cuban crisis. You'll be told what happened there. Korean War, Berlin crisis, Vietnam War. All these are some of the examples that showed how these two countries, Russia and USA, were not in good terms. Please read more to find out what happened. Uh, Yes, I also want you to be aware of Namibian history, uh -huh. especially around 19, oh, sorry, 1884. What happened there when German colonized us now, or started to colonize us? Uh -huh. The good things and the bad things. Take note of that. Uh, if it's a sequence or, in short, the question that asks, 
How far do you agree? Remember, colonialism was not only bad, but it was also good. We talk about education, we talk about infrastructure. However, the issue of land being taken, those are some of the bad uh, reasons that you need to balance your answers with. Okay? So after the period of uh, German, we started the period of uh, South Africa under the National Party, which introduced uh, apartheid. So please read more to get more information. However, Namibia grouped together, and then at the same time nationalism started, so because of that unity, they started to resist our colonial masters until we got our independence in 1990. So, basic information. Read more again, just for you to be aware. Yes. Um, as I come to the end, I want you to focus again. The most important presentation for today is the keywords. Very, very important. If the question is described, be brief. If the question is explain, name and explain facts that are at least more than three so that you can get a lot of marks. Uh -huh. And if you find a question that asks you how far do you agree, then I told you that you need to have to support, you need to support two sides or more. If there's only one fact asked in the question, you introduce others. If there are two facts or three facts, then stick to the questions or the facts that are mentioned. Uh, thank you very much for listening. Any inquiries, you know where to find me. The number is still the same. Uh, 0818267207. Then I will give you further help. Thank you for listening.